साउंड इंट्रोडक्शन वी आर सराउंडेड बाय वेरियस साउंड्स कमिंग फ्रॉम ऑल डायरेक्शंस सम साउंड्स आर प्लीजेंट वाइल सम आर अनप्लीजेंट सम साउंड्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड एट पीरियोडिक इंटरवल्स वाइल सम आर प्रोड्यूस्ड रैंडमली वी आर एबल टू डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ साउंड्स ड्यू टू सम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स इन दैम इट इज द साउंड दैट हेल्प्स अस टू कम्युनिकेट वर्बली वी आर एबल टू स्पीक विद ईच अदर बाय द साउंड्स वी मेक प्रोडक्शन ऑफ साउंड साउंड इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इट इज द एनर्जी दैट गिव्स अस द सेंसेशन ऑफ हियरिंग वाइब्रेशन कॉजेज साउंड साउंड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेव्स वेन अ स्ट्रिंग ऑफ गिटार इज प्लग्ड इट स्टार्ट्स मूविंग बैक एंड फोर्थ एंड साउंड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड दिस बैक एंड फोर्थ मूवमेंट ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग इज कॉल्ड वाइब्रेशन ऑल वाइब्रेटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स प्रोड्यूस साउंड सम मटीरियल्स आर केपेबल ऑफ ट्रांसमिटिंग साउंड थ्रू दैम सच मटीरियल्स आर कॉल्ड मीडियम्स द मूवमेंट ऑफ साउंड थ्रू द मीडियम इज कॉल्ड प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ साउंड साउंड रिक्वायर्स अ मीडियम फॉर प्रोपोगेशन द ऑर्गन इन ह्यूमन बींग्स दैट इज इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ साउंड इज द लैरिंग्स कॉमनली कॉल्ड द वॉइस बॉक्स द वॉइस बॉक्स इज सिचुएटेड इन द नेक एट द अपर एंड ऑफ द विंड पाइप द साउंड प्रोड्यूस्ड इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय वोकल कॉर्ड्स विच आर द थिन मेमरेन्स स्ट्रेच्ड अक्रॉस द वॉइस बॉक्स there are muscles attached to vocal cords these muscles can vary the tension in the vocal cords that is make them tight or loose with the help of these muscles we can make different sounds experiment to show that vibration produces sound take a tuning fork pad a beaker of water hit the fork against the pad and put it in the beaker of water we notice that water begins splashing this shows that vibration is being produced as vibration is produced a humming sound is also produced thus it is clear that vibrations produce sound vibration and oscillation vibration produces sound the difference between the terms oscillation and vibration should be made clear vibration is the to and fro movement of the particles about their mean position when these vibrations take place at a lesser speed we call them oscillation any vibration or oscillation is described by three terms they are amplitude frequency and time period let us study about these forms amplitude amplitude refers to the maximum distance moved by a body from mean to extreme position frequency the total number of vibrations taking place in one second is said to be its frequency frequency is measured in hertz time period the time period refers to the time taken for one complete oscillation time period is equal to 1 upon frequency time period is measured in terms of seconds to show that vibration with higher frequency produce sounds of higher pitch take a rubber band stretch it slightly and strike it it will produce a dull sound pull it hard and strike it again a more shrill sound will be produced observe the vibrations carefully in the two cases you may be able to make out that the rubber band vibrates faster when producing a shrill sound than when producing a dull sound to show that sound can travel through a solid medium keep one of your ears against one end of your desk close the other ear firmly with the palm of your hand tell a friend to tap the desk at the other end with his hand as shown in the figure you will be able to hear the sound loud and clear sensation of sound the shape of the outer part of the ear is like a funnel when sound enters it travels down a canal at the end of which a thin membrane is stretched tightly it is called the ear drum it is like a stretched rubber sheet sound vibrations 
मेक द इयर ड्रम वाइब्रेट द इयर ड्रम सेंड्स वाइब्रेशन टू इनर इयर फ्रॉम दीज द सिग्नल गोज टू द ब्रेन दैट इज हाउ वी हियर वी मस्ट नेवर पुट अ शार्प पॉइंटेड और हार्ड थिंग इन टू अवर इयर इट कैन डैमेज द इयर ड्रम द डैमेज इयर ड्रम कैन इम्पेयर हियरिंग ऑल वाइब्रेटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स कैन स्टार्ट साउंड वेव्स ऑन वाइब्रेशन अ मॉलिक्यूल वाइब्रेट्स देन दिस वाइब्रेशन रीचेज द नेक्स्ट मॉलिक्यूल एंड मेक्स इट वाइब्रेट ड्यू टू दिस द पार्टिकल्स इन द मीडियम ऑल्टरनेटली कम क्लोज एंड गो फार अवे दिस फिनोमिना इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एंड रेरिफिकेशन रिस्पेक्टिवली नॉट ओनली दिस साउंड वेव्स ऑल्सो फॉर्म लॉन्गिट्यूडनल वेव्स टू शो दैट अ मीडियम इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द प्रोपोगेशन ऑफ साउंड अलार्म क्लॉक बेल जार वैक्यूम पंप प्लेस द अलार्म क्लॉक इन द जार एंड कनेक्ट द वैक्यूम पंप टू इट रिंग द अलार्म यू कैन हियर इट नाउ रिमूव ऑल द एयर एंड रिपीट द अलार्म यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू हियर इट दिस शोज दैट साउंड रिक्वायर्स अ मीडियम फॉर प्रोपोगेशन ऑडिबल एंड इन ऑडिबल साउंड्स वी नीड अ वाइब्रेटिंग बॉडी फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ साउंड साउंड्स ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसीज लेस देन अबाउट ट्वेंटी वाइब्रेशन पर सेकेंड के नॉट बी डिटेक्टेड बाई ह्यूमन ईयर सच साउंड्स आर कॉल्ड इन ऑडिबल ऑन द अदर हैंड साउंड्स ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसीज हायर देन अबाउट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड वाइब्रेशन पर सेकेंड आर ऑल्सो नॉट ऑडिबल टू ह्यूमन ईयर दस फॉर ह्यूमन ईयर the audible range is roughly from 20 to 20000 hertz sounds of a frequency below 20 hertz are called infrasonic and those of a frequency above 20000 hertz are called ultrasonic though we can hear sounds between 20 to 20000 hertz we can produce sounds within a range of only 60 to 13000 hertz supersonic This refers to the speed of a body in reference to the speed of sound in air. When an object such as a jet aeroplane moves faster than the speed of sound in air, it is called supersonic. Noise and music. Noise is the unwanted sound. A noise generally has no repeated pattern. It is disorganized sound. On the contrary, any sound that is repeated in a pattern and is organized is said to be music noise pollution presence of excessive or unwanted sounds in the environment is called noise pollution major causes of noise pollution are sounds of vehicles explosions including bursting of crackers machines loud speakers etc what sources in the home may lead to noise pollution television and transistor radio at high volumes kitchen appliances desert coolers air conditioners all contribute to noise pollution noise pollution may result in many health related problems like insomnia hypertension anxiety etc a person who is exposed to a loud sound continuously may get temporary or even permanent impairment of hearing measures to limit noise pollution to control noise we must control the sources of noise for this silence devices must be installed in aircraft engines transport vehicles industrial machines and home appliances all noisy operations must be conducted away from any residential area use of automobile horns should be minimized tv sets and music systems should be run at low volumes Trees must be planted along the roads and around buildings to restrict the sounds reaching the residents thus reducing the harmful effects of sound pollution characteristics of sound we hear different types of sound what is it that differentiates one sound from the other what are the characteristics of sound let us study these characteristics in detail amplitude it is the loudness of sound it refers to the amount of pressure exerted by the sound source on the molecules of the air it is the measure of how high a crest is or how low a trough is 
frequency. The frequency refers to the number of vibrations made by a particle in one second. Frequency is measured in hertz. Pitch. The shrillness of a sound refers to its pitch. It depends on the frequency of vibrations. The higher the frequency, more shrill is the sound. Generally, a woman's voice has a higher pitch than a man's voice. Wavelength Wavelength refers to the distance between two consecutive crests or trough. It is denoted by lambda. The energy of a wave is more if its wavelength is small. The wavelength of red light is maximum while that of violet light is minimum. Intensity The quality of a sound refers to the frequencies present in it and their relative loudness. A vibrating object may produce sound of varying frequencies which might differ in their loudness. Loudness of sound is proportional to the square of the amplitude of the vibration producing the sound. For example, if the amplitude becomes two times, the loudness increases by a factor of four. The loudness is expressed in a unit called decibel. The following table gives some idea of the loudness of sound coming from various sources. Normal breathing, 10 decibels. Soft whisper, 30 decibels. Normal conversation, 60 decibels. Busy traffic, 70 decibels. Average factory, 80 decibels. Above 80 decibels, the noise becomes physically painful. Audible and inaudible sounds. We need a vibrating body for the production of sound. Sounds of frequencies less than about 20 vibrations per second cannot be detected by human ear. Such sounds are called inaudible. On the other hand, sounds of frequencies higher than about 20,000 vibrations per second are also not audible to human ear. Thus, for human ear, the audible range is roughly from 20 to 20,000 hertz. Sounds of a frequency below 20 hertz are called infrasonic and those of a frequency above 20,000 hertz are called ultrasonic. Though we can hear sounds between 20 to 20,000 hertz, we can produce sounds within a range of only 60 to 13,000 hertz. Supersonic This refers to the speed of a body in reference to the speed of sound in air. When an object such as a jet aeroplane moves faster than the speed of sound in air, it is called supersonic. Noise and music Noise is the unwanted sound. A noise generally has no repeated pattern. It is disorganized sound. On the contrary, any sound that is repeated in a pattern and is organized is said to be music. Noise pollution Presence of excessive or unwanted sounds in the environment is called noise pollution. Major causes of noise pollution are sounds of vehicles, explosions including bursting of crackers, machines, loudspeakers, etc. What sources in the home may lead to noise pollution? Television and transistor, radio at high volumes, kitchen appliances, desert coolers, air conditioners, all contribute to noise pollution. Noise pollution may result in many health-related problems like insomnia, hypertension, anxiety, etc. A person who is exposed to a loud sound continuously may get temporary or even permanent impairment of hearing. Measures to limit noise pollution To control noise, we must control the sources of noise. For this, Silence devices must be installed in aircraft engines, transport vehicles, industrial machines and home appliances. All noisy operations must be conducted away from any residential area. Use of automobile horns should be minimized. TV sets and music systems should be run at low volumes. Trees must be planted along the roads and around buildings to restrict the sounds reaching the residents, thus reducing the harmful effects of sound pollution.
echoes echoes are reflected sounds we do not hear them all the time even though there are plenty of reflections of sounds all around us this is because we can distinguish between two sounds only if there is a time lapse of 1/15th of a second to hit the reflecting surface and come back most of the things around us like wood cloths and furnishings are poor reflectors and good absorbers of sound had this not been the case our voices would be reflected again and again from walls and floors making it difficult for us to converse applications application of echoes are as follows echoes are used to locate underwater objects and measure the depth of the sea by instruments called sonar radars vibrations are sent down from ships the time taken for reflected vibrations to return helps in calculating the depth doctors use echoes to get pictures of internal organs of the body ultrasonic vibrations reflected by different parts of an organ helps to create an image of the organ the technique is called endocardiography in case of heart the term ultrasonography is used in case of other organs bats use echoes to locate their prey they use ultrasonic vibrations and can judge the distance of the prey from the time taken by echo to return musical instruments plucking a rubber band produces a sound do you know that the pitch of the sound produced may be changed by varying the extent to which the band is stretched most musical instruments are based on this principle broadly musical instruments are classified into the following categories in stringed instruments sound is produced by a vibrating string the shrillness or pitch of the sound is altered by changing the length of the vibrating portion of the string for example a guitar player plucks the string with the right hand while the pitch of the sound produced is changed by pressing the string with the left hand on the fret in wind instruments sound is produced by the vibrating air column inside the instrument the pitch of the sound is altered by changing the length of the vibrating air column for example flute in percussion instruments sound is produced by vibrating skin or membrane the pitch of the sound is altered by increasing or decreasing the tension in the membrane example tabla